It's the Office 14 Podcast. Recording from the Office Studio. This is episode 123. This is Nas clocking in. It's Sumi clocking in. Yo, yo, this Lynn clocking in. I almost forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I sometimes I'll be forgetting the episodes. I'll be like, one. I'll be having to go yeah, look. That's a lot of, I was going to say, that's a lot of episodes. 120. This is 100 and 123rd yeah. episode. I want to know how y'all think y'all going to pie and watch this game at the same time. Oh, this is not a game. This is this is, this is highlights. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is highlights. Yeah, sometimes I'll be having to. I, when everybody here and something on the TV, I got to turn it turn off. off cause yeah. the focus, yeah. yeah. Niggas be losing focus. It was highlights from last <laughs> oh, night's <okay>. game. Because <laughs> uh, Lynn was acting like he didn't even see it. Lynn, he, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I was just locked in. Like, yeah. Oh, I ain't see this shit, but <laughs> yeah, man. How y'all doing? How y'all week so far? Uh, I'm. I told you when I walked in, my adult like adulting is hard. Like it is. Some days, some weeks, I'm good. This week, I just feel like I'm on a run constantly, moving it, around. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, right? When I, um, what was that, last Friday I came and talked to the kids? Mm. Last, yeah. It was last Friday. So going to go talk to the kids, right? Kids are hilarious. Yeah, they are. They were middle school kids, too. Okay. And I I was talking to them. I was talking to, like, a group of little girls, and I was, you know, just telling them, asking them what they wanted to do. And I was like, listen, be a kid as long as possible. I promise y'all it's no fun being a kid. And they, she was like, I want to I want to grow up. I was like, listen, I promise you. What you yeah. the responsibility as an adult is not what you want. I promise you, not what you want. When you was a kid, was you like, I can't wait to grow up? Because yes. I wasn't like that. I was. I was one of them kids. I was like, I can't wait to turn sixteen. Like I was one of them. Or I think like, dri- I- yeah, driving was my thing. I just need that driving independence. After that, it was like, yeah, it's different because I was still in cars at like thirteen. So, <laughs> so I didn't need them. different life. <laughs> different life. It's a whole different Nas. I tell people <laughs> all the time, young Nas is different than. Nah, as you know now, I'm it's totally funny. different. Probably, probably funny to like reflect on it. Like, damn, it's totally used different. Used to be doing this, be drawn. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was a drawn ass young boy. Yeah, I wasn't like I wasn't. I wasn't what these little niggas are. I wasn't that. Well, crazy. you wasn't harming. I feel like in general, like back then, we weren't like harming. Right. I, like we were innocent we were, people. Right. Innocent people. No. I n- never, never, I never felt like innocent people should get hurt in any kind of any kind of way. Like it was just morals back then. Um, but and it's crazy thinking of that. Like the bus, stop the bus driver, oh, man. Yeah. Like damn, it's oh yeah. yeah. And I just tweet, I tweeted, I was like, I know SEPTA drivers are on edge right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they about to go on strike. Oh right, they on the thirty first, the thirty first, I think. Yeah, right? like yeah, yeah, the, and and um. Um, but safety. That, they decided that before this, before right? before this. Right. But this is this is even going to go into like their negotiation because it's safety. Like safety is one of their big priorities. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they already put. I know on the buses they already put that little like it's a little glass, glass around. But them. it ain't. It's not bulletproof or nothing. You can come uh, right over it. Okay. Yeah. Safety. It's fucking crazy just to see like how the bus has changed. Now they probably gonna get bulletproof. bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Glass. yeah bet- between between when you walk on the bus and the bus driver. I mean, I, I would I would hope they get that. Or like security on the bus. Yeah, because think think about it. How many people argue with the bus driver? Uh, right. Even I mean, even when we was kids. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. when we were kids, like people arguing with the bus driver all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Or just on the bus doing dumb shit. It's sad. It's sad. So y'all we bring in social paths, man. No, dead, like dead I'm ass. I'm serious. The fact that you can shoot somebody, just walk off the bus like nothing happened. Yo. And then I saw somebody say she was going to plead. I mean, you know, Twitter is, yeah. they make up their own shit. Yeah. But it plead the Twitter lawyers. The Twitter lawyers. I'm, I mean, you you got to be the fuck insane. You got to yeah. do some shit like you, that. How can, you can't plead ins, insanity. You got to have history of being insane. Like you got to have doctors and, but you got mental health issues way before this incident. Yeah. Then trying to go in that courtroom and play stupid. I but to go know. back, like the the girl, sh- not to be ex- like get crazy, them, but she shot the guy, got off the bus, then went back and shot him. Not, not. Yeah. I want like, was it an argument or was she just no, that crazy? There's no argument that allowed you do that. Like, I don't even know the argument. Right. Like this person don't owe you money. Well, I mean, they I'm saying like grandma, versus like, literally just like coming, like seeing somebody shooting them or. Like we hadn't, we hadn't like Yo, an actual. So I, I don't know, I don't know how true it is. I don't know how true this story is that I heard. Right, it was that the bus driver cut them off in the car, <laughs> and they went and went to the next stop, got on the bus, act like they were, you know, getting on the bus, and then that's when they shot the bus driver. Oh my god, I hope that's not true. That was what I, that was from what I. I don't know how true that is. Like I don't know, I'm not 
sure 100 percent how true that but story. the craziest story the first i normally like the first story or the craziest story be the truth yeah <laughs> be the truth. like for somebody like it's raw it's behind raw rage that's what that's what yeah it, it initiated from i'm not, I'm not sure no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on Netflix. With the Asian, with the Asian people, right? Rage, right? Yeah. It's yeah. about it's about it start off with road rage and then it just leads to like all oh, goes just downhill from there. No, one day I was Ubering and I must have ran a stop sign, but it, it was like a um white guy. He was like walking across the street, but I like rolled to the next block, but I was behind a pizza delivery guy or whatever. So I'm just standing behind him. I somebody knock on my motherfucking window. It's him. He didn't walk up the block. <laughs> Mind you, I'm Ubering and I have a real I told we I said last week that I've been I'm very impulsive. Mm. He lucky I had somebody in my back seat <laughs> because I would have pulled him in my motherfucking car and he would have been riding down the street with me with his legs hanging out the window. <laughs> Who the fuck? Why do y'all think y'all could do yo. whatever y'all want? Yo. Imagine if I had a man in my car. Yeah. It's Philly, yeah. yo. It's just it's different. This little here. frail is, ass bro. white man, you. It's, ooh, I'm pissed off thinking about it. <laughs> yo, so I get it. It is when we say Philly is different. Philly is. It's like no other place. It's Gotham GTA, City. yo. <laughs> Gotham City without Batman. Mm, mm, Real mm. shit. GTA, it just, you can't come back. You can't come back from... We need Quilly to save. It's Quilly Batman. <laughs> 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 Quilly is Batman. We need Quilly, man. I want to add Quilly on the pod. Honestly, really that, would, that would probably be ridiculous. Uh, I really want to have you, man. <laughs> when Quilly come on the reach pod, out to his people. Get Quilly on the pod. And make sure we got sticks and feet here. Yeah. yeah. You got to. You got to. <laughs> You gotta have them here for that. Will be, that would be hilarious. I feel like I just want to sit in the corner and just be a bystander. You don't even want to be. You don't even want to be on a pod. I don't right? even want to catch no straight. I don't even want. He know. might. He might fight sticks. <laughs> so I don't know. Chester nigga versus a north. Uh, where you from? North uptown. I think yeah, from north, north uptown yeah. Yeah. somewhere. Somewhere like that. Damn. Any any new um y'all been listening to any new music? Um, on my way here, I was listening to Brent. Um, I'm yeah. kind of I I've been stuck on this Doja Cat album. A lot of people don't like Doja, um, but I really really like Doja. My brother was like, "That's because she's a weirdo and you're a weirdo, so you connect." But she been doing like little devil stuff. And I all know, that stuff but like I feel that. like you gotta take away from the the lyrics are good. Okay, I never the lyrics listened. are good. They said she make really good albums. She I does, mean, just, and never, she can actually rap. Like she's really good in her performance wise. Like I love somebody that's like she creative. Only Beyonce shit, like not running out of breath. You know okay. what I mean? Mm. She but, creative. I've been kind of stuck on that, and then um, V's. I like V's a lot, so okay, that's like my hood shit that I that I keep in rotation. What about you, Lenzo? I just tapped into Brent. I actually like it. Did you like it? Yeah, I actually like it off the first listen. I got to listen to it in the car, but in the crib it was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, outside of that, I'm still. I, I Drake is still there. Oh, I like this Drake album. I was telling like I was telling people it's it's too many songs, but it's a pocket in there. Yeah, that love. yeah. It's from, like two to thirteen to like down to probably like uh. I feel like sometimes I can't get past a certain number because I'm like keep repeating the you same repeat song. It, right? But I agree. I, and I, one thing I like about Drake is that like he'll drop an album and everybody like fucking hates it, and then next week I'll be like, oh, this Drake album ain't yeah, that bad. Ain't and then that, the next week gotta, like, you gotta hear it in different yeah, places and then like I agree, I agree. Like Bahama Promises is my shit. Yeah, I that's a good one. I listen to that one. like 13 times a and day. He, he got in his bag with like how he used to be, you know, bringing up bitches' names and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. Do you listen to music now? I do. I do listen to music. I don't like Drake album. Okay. I don't and and, and what I type like of music listen. guy are you? I like I like push. Okay. I like okay. I like Drake. So that, so it, it can't be like people be like, Well, you a push a T guy I'm like but I like Drake though. Yeah, I, yeah. I really, really like I like Drake from beginning of time. You know, I I love Drake music, right? Yeah. I just don't like this album. I think I like the him and twenty one Savage album. Mm-hmm. I like a certified lover boy. Mm-hmm. That is one of my favorite Drake certified albums. Lover boy. It's one of my f- and and it's know. not like it didn't even. It's like from first listen, I like certified lover boy. Yeah, yeah. And but this one, I went back and listened. I went back and listened. <laughs> I went back and listened. So you don't like one song? What's your favorite song? Name? You. I don't. It might. It changes every day. Okay, so so okay, so I think I think I'm at I'm at the age and I think I'm in the mindset now is like I think I'm tired of Drake pillow talking. Okay, but Future can do it. He don't, I'm tired of Future name okay, dropping Lori right, too. Right. I, actually, I actually love it. I no, love all this emotional. No, I don't. I don't. You love I don't. Play, you play me all this. No, like I love from. I don't. I don't like. I don't like that. I don't. From Amen down to. It's. What would Pluto do? I love. Like, Calling for you is my the, the, favorite. Okay, so that what what, what would Pluto do? That one and I kind of like the 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 um 
the Charlotte, the fruit, the free stuff. Eight a.m. in Charlotte. Eight a.m. in Charlotte. Yeah, like those BBL. I, 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 love. Yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like. BBL. Okay, so I, I like those. I think it's like it's like two songs. I'm, I'm like listen to like back to back to mm-hmm. back. It's like all right, I, I like this song, but other than that, I don't really like the album. I think I, I expected more. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe am I expecting more from Drake? Than what I should I be. I think you are. That's what a lot of people are. They everybody's but, waiting for this rap album where I'm no, about to I know, rap, I know rap, he rap. Not, he don't he don't do that. He don't drop albums like but that. So I'm not I'm not, ex- I'm not expect I'm not expecting a rappy rap Drake album. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I've, I've never expected that from mm. him. I just think like as an artist, is everything supposed to be fucking amazing? Or are you just no. supposed to create what you love? Like mm. I'm no, in the I, moment. I want to create something. You know what I mean? Like right. and, and and they're entitled to that. But as a listener and as a fan, I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, for so, sure. So Offset album is a few songs on there I like. I like the um I can't really listen to it. I like I like the him I like the broad day. I like I actually like um I like the one with him and Don Tolliver, but Don I'm a Don Tolliver fan. I like, like the I like Don Tolliver. Yeah. Um let me, let Travis, me see. Some. Don't lie to me is actually really good. I, I like I like the it. Travis. I um I actually I like On the River. I like the it's on him and Travis is say say my grace. Yeah. And uh the Don Tolliver is worth it. And I like Broad Day. Um I gotta listen to it again. It's it's a it's a few on there that's that's okay. It's a few on there. I'm, but I, it's not. It's rare that I like whole albums now. Yeah, yeah. The last one I'm gonna say, I like the little baby album. At first, I didn't like it. I can't listen to little baby. It's the same thing all the time. I didn't. I didn't like little baby album at first. I went back. I was like, all right, there's, there's a few songs yeah. on there. Um, I think the last album I feel like was like, all right, I love this shit. Was was future album. What I was think. Uh, um, seven. Um. um Seven, uh, no, it's not seven. No, it's, uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, I got. I actually got it right here. I can pull it right up. What the fuck up. is the name of it? Oh, I never liked you. I never liked you. Yeah, yeah. I never liked you. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never liked you. That was. I think that was the last yeah. one. I like I'm Vori never, too, though. I like Vori. He kind of depresses me a little bit, but I like him. That's it. That's why I can't listen to. I can't listen to Rod Wave. I ain't gonna lie. I must have been sad as shit, boy. Rod Wave is my shit. <laughs> you like Rod Wave? <laughs> you like really? I mean, this is the shit out my friends, and they ain't even do nothing. <laughs> I feel exactly how you feel. I never, I've never met no someone that listens to him. Like y'all be getting on my nerves. I just be listening to Rod Wave. Y'all be wanting to know why y'all let me down. They ain't really do shit. Okay, I like, I like Scissor album. Love Scissor. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah, Scissor yeah. in general. I mean, just like, damn, it, those were music. all this year. Yeah, those were all SZA, this year. Um, um, I, I didn't. I, I like the few songs off Quavo on Take Off album. Um, I never listen. Only yeah, built for Infinity Links. I like that album. Um. Damn, Jeezy dropped Snowfall with DJ Drama. All right, you you might be a little music boy. All right, all I, like, right. I'm saying like I'm going back. Okay, look, the, the last new oh Victoria thing. Monet for the ladies. I don't know if y'all like that, but Victoria heard, Monet was heard, beautiful. I like I I heard I heard about. It. I never listened to her music. That but I album heard it was is good. beautiful, and I'm real into like UK artists too. Um, a lot of people don't like UK artists, but I love that they don't cuss that much. But the, their word choice is so funny. <laughs> like they use is that like just, watching Top Boy all day? I can't listen get to the album? Top Boy, but it is. Yeah, I tried like eight times. I gotta try again. Where's yeah. the food, bro? Where's the food, <laughs> bro? <laughs> I gotta try again. I can't get past the first episode. But yeah. the UK rappers is my shit. Gigs, he be like around Jay Z. They don't be around. Jay-Z, but he be around like people that he hang with gigs okay. is hard. He like a little older too. Okay. But um, yeah, I like the UK rappers. No, I'm not into like a lot of rap, probably like the hard rap because mm-hmm. I'm not outside. Yeah. I'm not so in that mindset no more. Hard rap like yeah. fit different when you outside. Or if you're in the gym, you can listen to it. But listen, push a T. I was listening to that shit making spaghetti the other day. <laughs> I felt like coke. I was really in the kitchen. Like I mean, I was really in the kitchen, but I was listening. I forgot what track I was yeah. listening to. I thought I'm like, yo, this spaghetti gonna be good as shit. You start shit. lining oh, up the sugar on yeah. the counter. Like, hold on, let yeah. me no, cut wait, the sugar. Up. Look, I did line up all my seasonings. Yeah. I had everything right. yeah, if you took if you took a little, a almost little line of the sugar. <laughs> almost dry was a good album. Yeah. yeah, that was a good, that was a, that was album. a beautiful that, yeah. album. I that was, was just listening album. to the to the yeah the, mm-hmm. the beats, everything. Yeah, that was that was a good that was a good album. And, and I think the I think the mindset of him going into it is like Kanye do this and and Pharrell do they yeah. did half of the album yeah. right? Because then they and then because when I looked again, they like updated it was like Pharrell versus Kanye. Yeah. Like they got I guess they rearranged the song yeah. so you can hear yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I didn't even I, sometimes I'm not like super in tune with the. Uh, Producers. I mean, I, of course, everybody knows them, but yeah. I just be listening to the music. The last new like new nigga I probably like liked sort of kind of his album was a uh, Baby Money. Baby Money. He from Detroit. Okay. He. I like the I, Detroit I niggas like, though. I like Detroit niggas too. See, I like mm-hmm. I like rap. It's just like I gotta like Baby Money. Maybe I got. I don't. I don't know, man. And I don't. I don't be in my car too much. Okay. 
to me, I got yeah. listen to music in my car. But if, I, if I'm in the house little, cleaning, I'm listening to my like, little sister. Her car was her radio was fucked up, and she recently got it because she she never listened to music. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how do you live? And then she got her new car. She listens to music now, so I I definitely get it. I listen to yeah. most. Yeah, I listen to most music. In no, my I car. got I got I got to listen to music in the car. I don't I don't know what it is. You don't um, listen to that music in the house. R and B. Okay, I'm R and B boy. I don't, okay. I really don't. I I'm telling you, so I, mean, I probably listen to R and B. 90 percent of the time okay if it ain't r&b i'll probably go back and listen to nip i'll probably go listen to some love old. oh my gosh love nip yeah I'll what's, probably your, go what's your favorite song on nip on nip album which one um on the late on the last one victory lap yeah uh outside of um the one with him and kendrick um i'm gonna say loaded bases with him and CeeLo. okay that's a really good one mine is young nigga young when nigga with him and puff that, yeah i'll be feeling like when I don't I, even know. Probably young nigga or hustle and motivate. Yeah. Hustle and motivate. Yeah, cause he and I didn't know. I didn't know that um, Jay Z owns the right to the Annie song. Oh, it's a hard not, that that. Oh, really? Jay Z owns that right. When he did Hard Knock Life, mm-hmm. he brought that. So now whoever wants to sample that as Jay Z, wow. He's, so he let you like you. Yeah, you can fucking go ahead do your thing. Wow. With it. That's when Nip. He was um when when um, Victory Lap came out. He was uh he had an interview. With um Elliot Wilson, oh yeah, love Elliot Wilson. Mm-hmm. He, he he did he did an interview when with him, and they was, was a car ride. Yeah, he was right? yeah they was doing, yeah. they was riding in the car. He was riding in the car with Nip, and Nip was breaking it down to him. And when Victory Lap came out, at the same year Scorpio came out with Drake. Mm-hmm. And I had this talk with Paulie. I had this talk with Paulie and Tone. Right, I said I like Drake. I like Scorpio. Right, I said, but I think Nipsey Hussle got the best album. Nipsey, has, he had the best album. Yeah, and and, and I, do you remember me saying, I was trying to tell Linda, I'm like, yo, well, Scorpio was cool. I'm like, but Nip album is so well put together. It's, it was so it, good. It's crazy. And then what happened? I think the months later or a year later, he he died. Yeah. And everybody like, oh my God, his album is, I'm like, I've been saying this for but the But that's how it was. Year. I was arguing with somebody on Twitter. He's like, I can't listen to him. Or he, say, he say nigga 35 times of the song. I'm like, man, <laughs> listen to that shit. Nigga, listen. <laughs> <laughs> but what people got, what people, a lot of people, like, you got to travel sometimes. Like, yeah. when you go to, like, LA yeah. or you go to a place, like, music it hit different. different. And yeah. you, you start to understand. Like, the Honestly Never Mind Drake album. I love mm-hmm. that album. A lot of people don't like it. But I go so, like go to a resort. Yeah. No. Go to a resort I and watch bro, how, like, shit I love it. Different. I've been away. I'm I ain't never like that album. You ain't put it on. Bro. I've been away. Put it on when you that go away. That ain't my music or when like I go Vince away. Vince Staples music don't sound good. Oh, here. love Vince Staples. Don't get me. There y'all got me turned. But if you go to LA and listen to Vince Staples or what's his name? What's what's my man? Uh, Blast. Love Blast too. Blast. But if you out LA, like it's the sun. Bro. No, Vince trees. Staples like, has a song with Lil, Vince Staples got a song with Lil Baby. Mm-hmm. You might you mm-hmm. might like it. Mm-hmm. It's a really good no, song. No, Vince, Vince Staples, he all right. He okay. I, I don't, I don't. I feel like it's like a it's a bop that you probably that Philly probably won't have. And mm-hmm. You're not gonna hear it here. Yeah, I don't even like the Philly rappers. Well, I, don't I don't like the young. I don't listen to no Philly rappers. Like other than like, outside of Meek, I do like a couple of Philly. Rappers. I like Tour. I like Tour. Mm-hmm. Um, I he know he is. I haven't heard a song. He got a song that I like. Uh, I played it in the car a lot. Um, it's one of the mother little high heads. They, they be down Kensington. I like. <laughs> he be high Leaf as Ward shit, but he rap. good. Leaf Ward, Leaf Ward, Ward is really good. He can rap. Like he's yeah. really talented. Yeah, he can rap. And but but don't get me wrong, um, my daughter played a um tour tour song mm-hmm. for me, and, and it was it was okay. I'm like I just maybe it's just my age and yeah yeah yeah. That I'm, plays I'm, a not, part. I'm, not, I'm not saying that he can't rap. I'm pretty sure he can rap. Yeah. It's just like uh, I can't. Yeah. Get with it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you be like I'm gonna try and give it a go. Like I, I can't give it a go. Like I just I just can't. I don't think some of the stuff they rap about. It's not that I can't relate to it, just that I'm not even trying to get I'm not even interested in it. I ain't got enough beef. Like, Sally May, they ain't rubbled me yet. (laughs) It's my only beef out here in the world. They keep looking. But um, I don't know. It's a a lot of music out. Like, I I don't... I tried to get into Brent. Yeah. I can't really get into Brent. I mean, Brent... It's, it's a, like it's a acquired taste. It is. It is. Because but he's not really a singer. <laughs> like, he's not really, really good at singing. Mm-hmm. But it's like Mariah the Scientist. Like, it's like that nasally type voice. It's He's future and Drake together. And a, yeah. You think so? And his lyrics? Dumb. Like, if they, they had a child, it's that. I would agree. Because it's singing. It's melodic. Okay. It's like you said. It's harmony. Mm-hmm. But if you listen to the lyrics, like yeah, so they had to grow. Benny the Butcher, he went on, he went on um, Instagram the other day talking about rap critics and stuff like that, um, telling people just enjoy the music that they don't have credentials enough to critique it and everything like that. I'm a, I'm gonna play a clip from him. Uh, hold on. 
gotta start just enjoying the music and stop trying to always give y'all pain because you niggas is not Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, respectfully, though, enjoy the music. It's like, motherfuckers don't enjoy the music no more. They just critique the music. You know, the people that you're critiquing, you gotta realize, you know, a large percent of them got here without your opinion. Like, respectfully, don't take this the wrong way, but I get online and I just see people critiquing shit, critiquing, saying what they like or what they don't like. Enough of that bullshit, man. Get back to enjoying the music, man. Get back to... As soon as a nigga posts something on, on one of these sites or whatever, the first thing you see is like, a nigga can post something about the music and a nigga making a, a nigga to making a comment about what he wearing or a comment about his background is like, man, y'all, y'all getting out of control with this shit, man. We know, like I'm saying, don't take this the wrong way. I'm saying this all respectfully, as it can be. Like, we know that you niggas was nobody before they made this app. We understand that. Don't weaponize your opinion. So, so how 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 y'all how y'all feel about about him? Uh, what part of New York they from again? He he from Buffalo. Buffalo. That accent cracks me up. That's <laughs> um, but I do low key agree because there's certain like um, everybody was raving about Janelle Monae's album. Mm-hmm. I'm not a Janelle Monae fan, so I know if I turned it on, I'm not gonna like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> more more than likely, I tried it, I didn't like it. But you ain't see me like this trash. It, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or you know, when an album drops, I'm not like the same night, like, nah, this shit corny, whatever. I mean, you have a freedom of speech, but yeah. I do low key agree. Um, but I also think that that puts the fire under these artists' ass to just create to crit- better. Yeah. yeah. If, if if you didn't, if, if, if the fans of their music didn't critique it, then how are you going to know that the shit you just put out is whack? Yeah. It's now it's now it's, it's different levels to critiquing it. Now, if you because I don't understand how this is this is my opinion. I don't understand how an album drop at twelve o'clock yeah. and by one o'clock somebody is telling me that shit is fire. That's Twitter. I life. don't I don't understand that. Now I never understood that. I'm dropping at twelve. You up at twelve, whatever you doing. Maybe you work yeah, overnight. Twelve oh five, you like you twelve oh five, like, yeah, like no, this shit ain't <laughs> it. Like, bro, you ain't even you ain't even go through the album. You ain't even go back to the album. You ain't even do it again. Listen to the production. Listen to what he's saying. Whatever the case may be, whatever he's trying to tell you you're going through in his life. And I thought I always try to do that with music. I always try to I give it a chance. Like, oh, I'm going to give it another chance yeah, before I don't say yeah. I don't like it. I say it all the time. I'm going to give it another chance before I say I don't like it. I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going to go back and listen. And I'm like, this ain't, it ain't for me. I don't like it. Yeah. And now I'm like, it don't have nothing to do with the, whatever the nigga wearing. Like, me, my opinion of how Drake dress ain't got nothing to do with his music. The nigga is a hell of a fucking musician. He can make great music. He can yeah, write. The outfits are but horrible. But the outfits is hard. But he's a corny <laughs> ass nigga. But outside of all that, I like Drake. It doesn't yeah. that whatever the nigga wearing does have nothing to do with it. I ain't the most stylish nigga, but that don't have nothing to do with it. The the hairstyles ain't got nothing to do with it. But that's what that's I'm cool. saying about the Doja thing. Like, why can't y'all separate her right. loving the devil? No, right. I'm now, now that's it's different. It, right. <laughs> that's different. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like we all knew Kanye was weird. Oh yes. But the nigga is a musical genius. Now some of the late music he make, I can't get with it because it's gospel. I don't believe in what he yeah, believe in. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, I, I don't believe that. You know what I mean? Like the last Kanye albums, I haven't fucked with. But that's just my that's my There's opinion. Some good production on them albums, it, and I, you know what? I 110 percent believe it. Yeah. But it's not. He's not making music what I want right, to hear. Right. Right. That, that don't mean I can't critique it. Right. And I'm not online saying, oh, this nigga Kanye. He a Jesus freak. You know what I mean? Like First he, of all, I love that term, Jesus freak. I you know do. I mean? Like I don't oh I don't go God, online, I but I feel like true. as a fan of music, you should be able to if you like this artist, you should be able to say certain things. It's is a level to it. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's, it's a level to critiquing the music. The nigga wife or girlfriend or kids, that yeah, shit ain't got nothing to do with it. Right? Nothing to do with mm-hmm. the music. The music at hand, you can critique the music, but as the person and what they life going, all that shit you gotta leave it alone. But that's Twitter and that social media gave people Opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you gave too much. You gave too. You you give people too much to see. Mm-hmm. Like before, back in the day, like we didn't know anything until the album drop or whatever we read in Word Up magazine yeah. or Double XL. Now I got your whole fucking life like yeah. in my phone. But also that, and I and I'm that kind of 
reflects back to my life. I, it, I'm going to throw some shade to my mom real quick. But, like, every time I post something, she swear she know everything I'm doing. It's like, <laughs> girl, I posted a glass of wine. I don't drink. She like, if you need a little help with drinking, girl. That's how I like my mom. Yo, like, mom, I ain't yo. even drink today. Yeah. You were drunk. Damn. So, so me, I, I, love, I love your mom and grandma. No, they my dogs. They are, they are beautiful women. But I did not. I'm not no alcoholic, girl. And I don't need no extra help. I, I, where you your going grandma be getting, pair. she be like, getting, she be getting with people. John. <laughs> your grandma be getting with people. I done seen her get her with facial people. Facial expression uh-huh. be getting with something. But yeah, I, I the social media people really be taking that shit too a little too, a little too far. Even with the even with it's not music related, but even with the Kim thing, with did somebody tweeted, well, she said that she got a nanny, a manny, manny, because mm-hmm. um, she wanted like more. She wanted another man around her children in the household. In the household, right, right. It doesn't but mean that Kanye is a bad dad. Went, fucking nuts right they went nuts but mm-hmm. if you watch the episode she was like kanye met him like you know she was like i was nervous but kanye met him but i know he's not around all the time i need somebody to pick him up from soccer pick him up from you know right we live in a world where people will see a clip and they will just go off and go nuts clip. they will not go listen they will not go search they will not go search that they will not interview go they will not go read you know how i know people don't read from us having live shows, I, I will have the fucking address, the time, the place, the place we even have. When you go to link it, it will give you directions to it. You know what somebody would say? Where is it at? What time it start? What time y'all going on? What time the doors open? Obviously, the doors open from the time it has on a flyer. Right. To that right. time. And, and, and you know what I mean? It's, it's like people don't read. They no, don't They don't care. invest. It's the, this, this phone is a computer in your hands. It's a, it's a computer. It's more than just social media. It's more than just calling somebody or text some people. Phone, yeah. It's it's yo. You got Google at your fingertips, and the minute I see people say, "Well, what time this open?" Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> are you fucking serious? What time something open? You can't be serious. What time something? That's open. how my response is always: use your phone. You type, and sometimes I could just answer the question instead of getting smart. It takes me no. more words to get smart. I got, but smart. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, because you getting. Are you trying to get on my nerves? Right. Because you don't. You're succeeding at it. No. Yeah, thank you. I'm. I'm telling you, people do not invest the time in whatever they whatever they trying to talk about on no. social media. They don't invest no. the time in doing it, doing and the research. And I'm really one of them people. You ain't gonna hear me talk about shit until I kind of like do, do my, my background on it. Yeah, do my that's, due diligence. That's it. That's, that's all. all I'm. Gonna, that's all I'm gonna do before I come on this platform and talk about anything or anybody or anything I got going on. I'm gonna do my research yeah. on it. I'm gonna read about it and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dive into it and then I'm like, what? Well, you know, I'm gonna get my opinion on it. Even if somebody say something, I'm like, you sure? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> show me that. Show me the. Show yeah. me the uh, source because yeah, motherfuckers sure. be lying straight to your face. No, they really it's, do. It's, it's, it's like it's it's everything is fast. It's microwave. This is the time of microwave. As you see a clip, they give their opinion on it and the shit got a million interactions on it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Just want a clip. Just talk about. Just talk about. Kim Kardashian, you could easily go to YouTube and bring up the whole episode where she talk about the mammy situation. Yeah, but I don't want to do that because Kim Kardashian is a horrible person, and I want right. to believe that. Right, so. and she take black men from from black women. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's I mean, what they say. These black niggas like these white girls. I can't listen. I ain't mad. Hey, I ain't I mad. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm agree with the scissors on that. The I don't know how. Right, I don't know how a nigga could be pro black and got a white wife, but whatever. I don't. People I, just I, take I, it anything, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> How y'all feel about that? Uh, the list that came out, the food, the food oh date list. First of all, let me I'm a, let me pull up the list. Let me see. I'm gonna go with the list. First yeah, of all, hey man, here. yeah, hey man, hey y'all, hey followers. <laughs> um, I'm single, and you can take me anywhere on that list. Okay, let me look at. Let me. I will. Maybe me maybe not the waffle. Wait, what was on there? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm about to bring it up right Wait, now. stop. Yeah, we could do a little picnic. Okay, so it said this list makes it seems like we don't want to date at all here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date two and thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list number one is cheesecake factory love cheesecake factory applebee's <coughs> followed by chili's chipotle applebee's got, hold on applebee's got dollar margaritas boy i don't know i don't know, I don't know how in. safe a dollar so margarita these are, these are, these are these, so these are where they won't go on first dates this is this is the first date applebee's chili's chipotle olive garden the movies i agree on i agree on applebee's chili's I love Chipotle, whatever. But um, the movies, I believe that. I don't believe the movie should be a first date. We'll we'll go back over yeah. it. I'm, uh, your house, I get it, ladies. That's fine. Unless you want to come over. It's Any okay. fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, yuck. Uh, Wingstop, Red Lobsters, the biscuits always been clutch. Uh, buffet, IHOP, Denny's, yeah. the gym, <laughs> church, Jesus freaks. Uh, Starbucks, <laughs> coffee dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, Netflix, Hulu, etc. Uh, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling. What Dang. nightclub, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House, sports events. 
these bitches strict. Damn, they only be getting they be the way y'all be begging for dates online. I don't understand how y'all came up with the, with twenty eight things y'all don't want to go. Because the way y'all be begging for flower, f- flowers, flowers and, and dates. Yeah. So, I love bowling. Bowling is, I think bowling I is a good date. I love Cheesecake Factory. Wow. Bowling is like a lot of fun. I love Cheesecake Factory. Honestly, I spend more money at Cheesecake Factory than I do some other restaurants. Right. They price is a little too high. Like all the shit you get, you get, you get appetizers, you get a bunch of drinks. They, cheesecake they, Factory, you run up a bill. Hell yeah. I'm not a fan of cheesecake at all. You don't gotta eat the damn cheesecake. I, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, I'm pretty. I don't. I don't like Cheesecake Factory, but I'm pretty sure it's something there that I, I could yeah. get a burger. Yeah, they got the Louisiana chicken pasta. You get yeah, there. I can you get, get a, a little Cosmo. Oh, yeah, I'm there. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> no, that's uh, like. I don't need the menu, man. <laughs> I, already, I already know what I want. Bring the brown bread out. Keep the white bread. <laughs> Bring me the brown bread. Bring me the brown bread. Bring Everybody brown like bread. the brown bread. Everybody love the brown. Don't let it be warm. Yeah. Ooh, the butter, the ain't butter not, ain't not like the brown bread from Outback. Outback. It might be similar. Is it? Okay. It might be similar. Okay. It sounds like they just hate So you would go to everything on that list? Um, I mean, besides the ones that I like literally don't like. Like, I am not. I don't really like Applebee's. So, I like Chili's. I'm a Chili's girl. Would you? What I like the Southwestern egg rolls from there. Their house. On the first date. It depends on, like, do you have something set? Am I just walking in and you like, damn, so what you want to eat? <laughs> like, no, that I'm not doing. Dick is on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat what my mama made? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe Dick could be on the menu if you planned the if date you right. right. Hey, bro. man. You, That's you, what I'm saying. You got to be funny. You could get whatever you want in this life if you do the right shit. Listen. And that goes for literally anything. Yeah. A bitch could be like, Women, I know me and my girlfriends, we talk about this all the time. It's sometimes I go on a date and I, on purpose, keep my vagina hairy. Because <laughs> I might like the person. I'll be like, well, if I, my vagina hairy, then I won't have sex. Girl, the date go good. You're doing what you like. I keep telling you, nobody <laughs> care about the paper on the starboard. Honestly, I, I prefer hair on the, vagina, on the vagina, but whatever. I'm a bull, too. I ain't shit <laughs> It don't matter. If, if the star, if the, if the uh, Little paper, man. <laughs> Get that out the way, man. <laughs> but no, like you, I don't care about the date. You, cause you, you cook. Yeah. If I got a nigga that like to cook, I'm with. So you gotta have a plan if you. If yeah, you I, okay. yeah. Oh, okay. I think you should have a plan. Um, I think in general, that's what is la- dating is lacking. In general, like men just don't have plans. Yes. No, no. It's just no. It's crazy. Niggas don't be having plans. Niggas don't be niggas that ask a woman out and be like, "Uh, what, what you want to do?" Like, wait, then you ask her. Yeah. Out? Or do you? Is there anywhere you you thought of? Nigga? No. Do you I, have a I, brain? I, I, it should I be com- like- it should be a combination though because if I pick you up and like you said like the list saying i don't want to go bowling right. and I, I you say i don't care what you do you pick then i take you right. bowling. bowling and you don't want to go and bowling you, piss, you in I, hills you got long nails I and now like, i gotta sit here no but you, you better know what, roll though? that bitch under no you, you know what though gotta bring out the little in the dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> when you when you set in dates when you just meet somebody i think it's, it's important to say what is you like yeah and what what, what, yeah. what, what kind of food you eat what yes. kind of food are you into do you like that you like mexican-american Indian, uh, Asian, you know, you yeah, like you yeah. in the sushi, you know all that. No, okay, cool. What about have you ever been here? Cool. You get an idea, general. Oh, you start yeah. knocking down things, the general idea of what she want to do. But I think I don't think the movies is a good first date. Why? Because you should be you should, you be, should talking. be talking. Yeah, a movie. You I can't talk to you in the movies. Okay, and going somewhere and even happy hour dates I feel like are good dates because you just meeting you. I you love start, a good you, happy hour date. I'm telling you, a good happy, happy hour date hours. is good. I think yeah. places with like drinks. Somewhere it's you can super, converse. Super cool. Yeah, you can it's, you can talk. Yeah, it yeah. ain't too also, loud. You want like it's it's not as formal, right? I don't right. gotta sit in front of you like an interview. We side right. by side. Mm-hmm. We can talk. It's relaxed. You got some drinks. You can make jokes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All this, you know, you might like go to a right hookah? place. Who don't yeah, like you get a hookah. hookah. You got some <laughs> Migos playing in the background. Like yeah. it's lit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I don't said okay. So um, tell me about your last relationship. Like why did you leave the last? Like it's an interview at that point. It's work. I don't want to be at work again. Yeah, yeah. I was at work for eight hours. Yeah, I gotta think too much yeah. like you about to ask me what's my goal in five years bitch i don't even I don't know, what, even I know what i'm doing tomorrow i don't even know what i want off this cheesecake menu is 365 <laughs> things on right here. i don't even know if i'm gonna like you tomorrow yeah. for what you ask me what's my goals to, like am i looking like, for where i see myself like, listen, in five, five years, years. Bitch, I, uh, wait. i'm trying to wear i'm where i'm gonna go to the car wait pause pause because i see this, something my on car Twitter. making a funny noise right what are you talking about <laughs> bitch, i think my hub is better right. <laughs> this bitch need brakes no for real because like, my car is fucked up and that's how i be like i think my car was squeaking on the way here like oh you might not see me for a couple weeks i might be in grind mode i might gotta put this bitch in the shop like for real unless you, I, yeah. for real, I would be in five years. and i think like the gym i think that's for people who really like work out 
Yeah, I'm, if you're I a fitness know. person and like like yeah. you want to work out with me, and, like, and I don't think that's a well, maybe not the gym, keep... but like a walk, right? right. Like, like a, a walk. like a hike, or uh, not a hike, not but... a hike, but a walk. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I ain't gonna lie, if she a gym rat and you take me out, like bitch, I'm tired. Like all that, don't be. Well, let's do these burpees. We're like, yeah, right. so damn, what we gonna you want your cheesecake cheesecake after this? Like, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she talking about now. I want some avocado toast. <laughs> like, no, all right, well look, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna just hit you up later and see you know see what's up. The top of the rocky steps is like. <laughs> so we going to Philly flavor. I ain't going to lie. I'm a quitter. I'm not, you take me to the Rockies. I'm going to be like, all right, I'm gonna meet you back there. I'll see you when you get back there. I'm not going to fuck up there. See, it could be a bad day. Like, all right, let's go for a walk. And then we walk in there. I'm like, uh, Yo, bro. I'm telling you. I'm not going to hit on the Mr. Rockies Softy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Softy always at the bottom it's of the He is always there. <laughs> we going to give me an ice cream real quick. Yeah, so look, I'm going to get an ice cream. I'm going to be here. Bro. I'll be you on the way down, bro. <laughs> I'll be down waiting on you. Be at the bottom of the steps. <laughs> Imagine you come back there and says you got two ice cream cones. Like, here you go. <laughs> like, bitch, I don't want that. She, Give me some fucking She all water. dressed in her Lululemon sweating and shit. <laughs> you, got a, you got ice cream waiting oh for Oh, my God. Fuck, I can't see Fam- my <laughs> Family functions. I don't think nightclubs is a good first date. Yeah. I'm, it I'm, depends. If you got you a nice little young baby, she might want to hit the section. Or was like a uh, like her friends and your yeah. friends. That's kind of a vibe. Yeah, all you can a, sing. Shout out my guys. Shout out to all you Shout can, all you can sing. That's a, I don't I take you to all you can sing. I don't know. I be ducking niggas in that bitch. Don't, <laughs> you don't see me. Get the fuck out of here. I stayed in one spot last time. All, I you, was, all you can sing be rolling. Shout, rolling. Out, shout out to the guys, man. Shout out to them. Shout yes, out to all them, you, man. All you can say, I think it's the, the next week. 11, 12, no, no, 11, not, next, 14? not next week. The, the following week. 11, 14, Bino celebrating his birthday. Yeah. Yeah, Shout out to the guys, man. Good. So the guys had a, the ladies had a strike back. It was like a guy list and a guy. So it says, ladies strike back. A new list of men they have no business dating, period. Men with toddlers or younger children. Men that live with their mama. Men that live with their <laughs> baby mama. Damn. DL men. Men that don't have a valid driver's license. Men that bank with cash app. <laughs> men that sag their pants. Men that don't take care of their kids. Men that disrespect women. Men that don't own a suit. Men that live in motels. God damn, this every nigga. <laughs> men that want to hold a couple dollars so they get paid. Men who close are in the tub. So, close in the, the tub. tub. You don't have no business dating a nigga who close in the tub. Anyway. Men that can't log in, log into anything without help. Men that can't tell they men, men that gotta tell their mom everything. Men that work at FedEx mm, Hub. Mm, mm, mm. Men that work for temporary service, truck drivers, them grand rising men, and what you doing, man? <laughs> the the grand men with multiple niggas. kids and baby mamas. Men that bash women on social media. Men that have to carry their. <laughs> Men that have to load their car to add money to it. <laughs> Men that don't keep their locks up. Men that the hairline go, but they keep holding on. Mm-hmm. Men that always want to talk about what they used to have. Married men, men without transportation. And now it's going to let this last one. Men that are cowboy fans. Oh, bitch, is you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you a cowboy fan? I am a cowboy fan. Uh, I'm a cowboy fan. I'm, um, I'm, I'm I'm alone in the state. Not even alone. There's a lot of cowboys fans yeah. in the city of Philadelphia. Well, that sounds to me like they won't ever have a man. Somebody yeah, follow that, yeah. that list right But there. my mom always used to tell me Don't date a man that has a child under five Don't really wow. yeah. what, what's, what's the reason behind that I don't know I guess it's still like fresh It's still new You kind of probably still figuring out the co-parenting thing Maybe mm-hmm. I don't know I don't know I I tend to date men that, that have If they do have children They have children old, older than five Get you so. soon as my baby turns six Dude, <laughs> today baby, today baby boy turns six guess what it's the sixth birthday where you want to go <laughs> you, know, you told me you told me i could have five i i don't i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know the whole meaning behind that i i mean honestly but i think it depends on the dynamic but dynamic between you and you you know yeah. you know you might have a different dynamic than somebody yeah, else yeah I, I i look i don't have i don't have no baby mamas so anybody who said they got killed by me is lying. I don't, I don't have no baby. My kids were dropped off by, by Starks. By Storks. <laughs> by Storks. My kid was dropped off by Storks. They just happened to look like me. That was it. Yeah. They definitely do look they definitely do look like yeah, you. That's yeah, that's it. I'm, I don't have no I don't have no baby mamas. <laughs> I don't have no pro, I don't, I don't have no issues anyway, so but um Yeah, that list I don't I mean, I think it was a, a lot situation. of valid things on there. Yes. But that's just like shit that you should be paying attention yeah. to when you're dating. Yeah. Men in general, it's fucked up out here, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah. So let me. Uh, we gonna we gonna switch kind of base. Talking about kids. Uh, Chicago lawmakers are trying to pass. This is a report. Chicago lawmakers are trying to pass a, a law that would require parents to pay a fine for their misbehaving children terrorizing the city. So my question to y'all is: Should should places and cities, especially like Philadelphia, should they implement a law to where as though 
parents may have to pay a certain fine when their kids are like um, caught doing certain crimes and things like that. Hundred percent. I think so too, but I think it's gonna be it, if we did do that, it's gonna be a lot of warrants though, because some of some of them parents don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like what would be the what would be the the right, what am I looking that, for right, the, the, um, the the law? Well, I mean, what would, what would the, be the repercussion, repercussion if you, right. yeah, if yeah. you don't pay? Yeah. I think a lot of parents would be like. Or well, you know you what I think? Stay, it, out of, stay out of sight. It may be like how the truancy thing was, right? When your kid wasn't going to school, they would hold the parents accountable. accountable. Yeah, your yeah. mom can be held. She can go to jail yeah. if you're not going to school. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I'm 50-50, right? it's 50, a right? good idea. Mm-hmm. So, like, Nas, like you, your mom did everything that you were supposed to do. You outside. You decided to do right. Mm-hmm. You know what my mama say? She would have said, you can have that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like you ain't gonna, or is either it's gonna it's gonna force parents to care somewhat, or it's gonna force them to. And but I, I, I think says, I think he's saying like to those parents that actually do care, but your kid is just so mm-hmm. why do I yeah. gotta get the the short end? Because that's your kid. You gotta start like raising your kids right. Like some of the things you can raise in your kid, like your kids gotta have respect. Like yeah, if you got yeah. some respect from when you're young, yeah, mm-hmm, it kind of like travels with you. Like and yeah, res- you might have did some shit, but you bro, still was respectful I, to right, the old lady. Right, right. I'm respectful, respectful as simple as when you walk into somebody's house, speak. Like mm-hmm. it start with little shit like mm-hmm. because that. Because that would that would go back to the whole bus thing. Like let's say she, the girl walked on. The, I don't know what happened. You know, prayers to his family. But let's say he walked on the bus. Man, fuck you, old head. And it's like, well, damn, that's not even how you walk into somebody. Exactly, family. exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. So walking into a house speaking when you when you walk in or like opening the door for a mm-hmm, woman or some mm-hmm, shit or, mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like that kind of, you're going to force people to like, yo, all right, I got a parent just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Now when you like 14, 15, you start kind of building your own little frame of your life, mm-hmm. then, I mean, your parents can only do but so but much. So much. That's yeah, it. They gonna yeah. do but so much. But at least I know that I gave you like the core shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because it's not until like these kids really sit in front of a judge and they like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. And it's like, Bro. nigga, you already in trouble. You already in trouble. You call yeah. now, you nigga, got yes, res- now you right. got all the respect in the world. Yeah, you got all the respect in the world when the nigga got, the nigga got your life in his hand. Yeah. I seen a clip. Mm, mm, mm. I seen a clip. I mean, I'm, I'm a, so before I go to that, um, I don't, I don't know how they would do it. I don't know how they would implement it. I don't know how the fines or whatever the case may be with the parents, but I think it would be a good idea to try to introduce it to even see like what would be what would be the steps in finding the parents yeah. or yeah. holding the parents accountable. Maybe ho- ho- hold a little hall with a couple like a lot of parents yeah. that yeah. kind of yeah. They usually they usually like when you before they introduce bills and stuff like that, you'll hear about it. Yeah. Most people who understand law, you know, what I mean, they go through go through small and big and big it's different steps in like yeah. bills getting passed. So. Um, but but legislation legislation it, it works different um than how people start uh start finding them. I would start with like a fine, start with like a hundred and fifty dollar fine. Yeah, here's the thing: once you, you start tapping people's pockets, I'm gonna I'm pay attention. Yeah. Do you do yeah. you do you think it should start out with a fine or a warning? You get a warning. I give you a warning, right? Yeah. Yo, your kid was outside. I just caught him spray painting some shit. Spray painting over. Mm-hmm. Cool. Hit you that time. Next time, one fifty. But I mean, you can give wrong names because people do that all the time. Yeah. But eventually, you are gonna have to. I'm going to catch you. Yeah. Like, if I got to take you back home, what's your address? Mm-hmm. Then I got your address down. I got this down. Then after that, that shit start going. Like, also, start booting cars. Like, you got to start hitting motherfuckers with it. Like, all right, yeah, young boy, you yeah. got to fucking get a job. Yeah. You got to do something. Yeah. Because now you cost me money. But like you said, there's going to be parents that be like, yo, just keep the motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. And they know. Then you got to pay child support. A lot of people don't know, like, Ooh. when you give your kid yeah. up, you got to pay child support. Yeah. There's yeah. plenty of parents that we took their kids and they was like, all right, had a nigga. All right, well, pay the child support. And they come out your check. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Nobody like, don't know that. You just ain't giving your kid to the state no. and they taking care of it. No, yeah. it's coming out your check now. The state don't have enough funds. Right. They don't have enough funding to do it. Also, is also with that, it's like, well, how are the police going to implement it? Because then you got to get police who care or are going to implement the law. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They got to they got to implement whatever laws and in, 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 um, intact, whatever they, whatever they, they got to enforce like it. I feel like it's worth their fucking life to deal with these knuckleheads because yes. they... They going crazy. Yeah, like, they going crazy. But imagine your grandma got come because a lot of these kids they do care about something. They they care about some adult. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like just sure. playing young boys I run into like they love their grandma. Imagine your grandma sitting in the cell because mm-hmm. you did some dumb shit. It's mm-hmm. like yeah. all right, I gotta chill now. Yep. Like even rappers that tell you, oh, Granny did this, Granny did that. Yeah. Now Granny like got to them. Put your most important. P- most important person. person. Matter of fact, that's <laughs> it. Most important person. Right on your list, who's your most important person? Most important person <laughs> my grandma. All right, well, Granny gonna come sit in the cell and eat a cheese yeah. sandwich. You gonna see what it's like. Twenty four hours of grandma, no medicine. She ain't got her blood pressure medicine or nothing. <laughs> you got to give her blood pressure right. medicine. Try granny kill. ain't got her Kepra. They don't suck. They try to kill, kill Granny. granny. <laughs> they, try, they try to leave Granny out here stuck. <laughs> no, but I, I, back to what I was about to say. I seen a, um, a clip online. I seen it on TikTok. 
a kid. He probably was he was seventeen. Mm-hmm. He was charged with murder. He murdered this kid. He shot him in the back of the head. So he was going mm-hmm. to he put in a plea deal. The plea deal was like thirty to something, maybe twenty five or something, or thirty to something. Um, the the lawyer he had of course he had a public defender. He was like, Your Honor, my my client want to speak today. The law nigga says, <clears throat> I'll be home soon. This is what he said in front of the court, in front of the family. This, he about to get a plea deal. So he, so the, the judge don't have to accept the plea deal that the DA and the lawyer come to agreement on. It's up, the judge don't have to accept it. He can make them pick a jury or, or go in front of him as, as a, for a trial. So this all before he gets the deal. This is the day for, them to get, for him to implement the deal and them to agree on the deal, the terms and everything like that. He says, I'll be home soon. Something, something, R.I.P. Law, somebody. And the, all you hear is <gasps> like you know people in the in the in the room and and the the judge is like in all my years my twenty five years of being a judge I've never had nobody do that now I don't know if you understand young man but I don't have to take this yeah, agre- agreement I don't have to take this agreement I don't know if you the severity of it you know um you don't have your showing over remorse you smile through the whole situation every time in court um I don't have to take this he start breaking it down to him like I don't have to accept this. He said, now I'm going to leave it up to the, he said, I'm, he said now in the district, district attorney office, I'm going to have you um, um, talk with the family to see if they if they agree with this plea deal. The DA, he went and talked to the family, and the family was like, you know what, um, even though he showed no remorse, the kid is young, um, they want to get it over and done with. So they end up taking the, they end up agreeing on the plea deal, but it was like, are you, you this shit serious, you yeah. shot this boy in the back of the head, you, you could, I could... Throw this deal away and you'll be in jail for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah. Sociopath. And some I was about to say, like you said earlier, bro, sociopaths. Bro, that is that is And that some is crazy. people like the like like the person that just killed the bus driver are better off behind bars. And yes. I don't wish jail on nobody. No, I, I never want to go. I'm a hundred and ten percent with you. Some but like are, some people need mm-hmm. to be restrained. Yeah. <laughs> like, and no. the reason why they act like that, because like as you see, like you see when you look on Instagram and shit, they got niggas in jail with phones. They yeah. Phone food, yeah. Because they're making they want jail to look homey. Like yes. it's cool. Yes. Niggas is in here. We get food in here. If you trick niggas into thinking that this shit is fun, mm-hmm. they not gonna have a problem coming here for thirty years. <coughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. All you gotta do is trick a nigga. That's it. Whatever social media is showing niggas with them cooking and having food and all that and having fun and gambling, that's what niggas think jail is. That's what they're going to show you. Th- th- listen, the jails know you got phones in there. They yeah. know this shit. Right. They're giving you the shit to put in there. Like They don't care. They know it's all They don't in care. There. Like, it's a screen. Like, you study her. There's a screen. They know niggas got phones in there. Yeah. He just set you niggas up. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is put a little... Put a, little, uh, put a little cheese out there. They going to get you niggas. That's a yeah. shame. We need some more Umars in the, in the, in the world. Put the, put, the, <laughs> put the niggas down. To just like. Umar just did like, say some kids need to be put. Yeah, just, no, but just damn. to push like. Fuck Umar crazy. Like our culture on like the black positivity. Like we need more of it. Like believe in your fucking self. Like what do yeah. you. I, I mean, I know everybody. That's how the, the world is balanced because we need good and bad. I get that. But it's just like, what the fuck are we doing? Like. Do we? I, I don't know. I don't know. My girlfriend's always be like, "Is she going on black power shit?" But like for real, I'm I'm reading Asada Shakur right now, mm-hmm. and I am like trying to figure out. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not super political. I don't really know too much about laws and all that. Mm-hmm. But like, how can I empower nope. black people a little bit in my in my in who I am? It has to start with. <clears throat> it's crazy because. With the black community, how how they put celebrities up here to speak for us and everything like that, and they just puppets. Yeah, but you don't they're go to any regular other, ass people too, right? But you don't even go to, when, you, when you go to the white or Asian community. You don't see white people. You don't see I don't know name a fucking white person who's a big star. I don't, I don't know Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, whatever it may be. When white things are going wrong, they don't talk. They don't look for Justin Bieber. Yeah. They don't look for this white person. When Asian people have when it happens in the Asian community, they don't Asian. Celebrities don't speak up. Yeah, they not. They don't. They don't y'all, look. Yeah. Y'all make to do it. You right. Gotta cut <laughs> you the internet I mean? off for at yeah. least like ten days. Don't give niggas social media for ten days. You black, don't give me social media <laughs> <laughs> because that's <laughs> fucked the niggas. It fucked the world up. It too did. many. Too many people got access to online and they doing dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. Cut. Close the rap studios. <laughs> close every studio. <laughs> First, let's start, let's start there. Start at the studio. Start at the fucking. And then stu- cut the internet God. off. Charge. Char- you gotta charge. Maybe start charging. You gotta have a job. Yeah, they said they was gonna charge for Twitter. Maybe, maybe. Forty dollars. You got. You got at least work like forty hours before you get uh literally get online or something like that. Yeah. The 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 um rep um community like the um executives and stuff like that are behind it 
They know. They behind it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a setup. Mm-hmm. It's all a setup. And I hate to be one of those people. Like, I'm really not a conspiracy theorist at all. Like, but I really do. Like, if you look at, I'm real big into documentaries. If you look at, like, the older documentaries where, like, um, um, I arrived on the day for, like for a hip, I, I had for to say that yeah the, I had to say the, that the, lyric the, to remember yeah, his yeah, name yeah. but yeah, if you look at that like how how much they we as black people stood Yo, together they we are just like fuck they, it they said mm-hmm. they said they ain't got nothing to do with me they said the Black Panthers was a terrorist group but all they did was just feed feed pe- people in the neighborhood yeah. and empower their people and how, empower their people how, how how can you compare them to the KKK when the KKK was murdering innocent people. How how dare how can you how can you compare the Black Panther movement to KKK with because we're so powerful? If yes, we stick they don't together, want Black people. If we, if that, we, if we gain knowledge. We're mm-hmm. too powerful, and we, never and we could have another. as much power and not even be like fucking up, ki- not even killing people. Yeah, and they know that they know that about us, and it's just time. I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know how we will move backwards. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We gotta start saying job Yo, turkey and shit again. <laughs> Gotta put my Kango on yeah. to the side. Like it's, always, it's always gonna be that one black person that's just not gonna be with the whole Yeah, it's gonna be like, man, that's some weird ass yeah. shit. Freaking a friend Hampton, the bull who set him up. Right, right. It's always gonna be gonna one because all you gotta do is just. <laughs> that's how I'm coming, you job turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Call the niggas job turkeys. <laughs> Let me read this letter. Um, so they basically said, yo, how can I get out of my dad's spot? So I'm rocking my hat for the rest of the show. <laughs> I'm 21 and I currently got 10k in my bank account. I work a warehouse okay, job, but yesterday my dad charged me 500 dollars for rent money, and now he demands it every month, uh, starting in November. If I keep paying him, I'll never move out, and I just can't deal with his bullshit no more. Oh. What should I do? You know what's so funny about this? People, man, was bullshit when I'm expecting something of you. That's just like people in general. Like if you if I start if I start talking real shit to a nigga, you like, oh, you being emotional. Now I'm emotional. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, no, I'm I'm actually you gotta pay what you you gotta pay wherever the fuck you go. Period. Five hundred dollars is nothing. You how much you make a month? He didn't he, say how much you make a month. He just said he, he got ten K in the bank, but he worked a warehouse job and his dad charged me five hundred in a month now. Warehouse job, he making about a dub. Dub dub an hour over. Maybe, yeah. Warehouse jobs depend on you get you. you yeah, eighteen and twenty, maybe eighteen Even to twenty-two. Even Amazon is eighteen to twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not a man. Y'all, y'all, y'all definitely I, can. What would, now I don't know now because some parents. Listen, I'm now I got my hat cocked. Listen to Young Thundercat. <laughs> um, <laughs> young Thundercat. He might be taking. He might be taking it. The money to put off for when you do want to move and putting it to the like you can invest. You can um put that as a down payment. I know some parents charge their kids the rent, but they might be putting it up. For them use as a down payment. But if he move. isn't. But if he isn't, but you gotta have some kind of responsibility. I don't believe in that. Um Charging but you, your kid. It de- it depends. Like it it depends on what they make. It depends on where they at in life as well. But you have to did he didn't say how old he was? Twenty, 21. right? Twenty one. Okay, so at twenty one you gotta have some kind of responsibilities. So he is teaching you some kind of responsibilities. And I I don't know if five hundred is kinda of steep. I don't know how much he make. You got ten K saved. Um if you don't like it. You move out. You're gonna be paying twelve to fifteen hundred, yes. twelve to eighteen hundred dollars, depending on where you live at. Or you can live in a box and pay that. You can live in a box. You can live in, can live in a studio and you're gonna pay. F- <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna pay seven hundred. <laughs> and you're gonna pay seven to eight hundred. I mean, seven to to thousand dollars. Yeah. So you take it how you how you feel is best. Like you weigh your options, um, and you go from there. You because the reality gonna hit you when you when you get out of your dad's house is that. It's going, you're going to pay more than $500 yeah. And it's not just rent. It's utilities. It's you, got, you got to feed food, yourself. Food is high. Yeah, food is really high. Yeah, food is high. You door dashing shit, that's $30 a day. Yeah. Or 50 depending on how many times you're eating off of it. So you do the math and what, what really adds up to you and what you can stand. If he's charging you too much, then move out. But you're going to pay more. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> pay the 500 It's inflation. Your pot probably ain't pay got the five. it. We all paying. The five is a break. I'm gonna tell you that right the I fuck agree. now. My mom say move back home, and all you got to be five hundred. I'm there. I'm there. Man, I'm, I'm, shut up. I'm there my, like yesterday. My mom can't get on my. I don't know. I don't know if I can. Hey, I don't know. I don't know the way gas prices is. <laughs> I, I work at night. I barely see my mom. Yeah, I ain't gonna see you anymore. I'm always at work. I'm, I'm at work. work. I'm at work at night. So when I come home in the day and she up, I'm going. I'm. Sh- yeah. I'll be sleep. Yeah. Sit your so it don't matter. Down. Let me call because my mom he, right he now. Go young nigga math. 
<laughs> Young nigga man is yo. I got five hundred. I can't give you five hundred, but then I'm gonna go somewhere and pay twelve to six. six That's yeah. It's young nigga or, man. Or go <laughs> go buy some man. fucking Amiri or some shit like that. Yeah. Like you gonna you know? go do some dumb shit. Dumb shit. And you you gotta teach people responsibilities. You do. You, you do. do. I, and I think I think at twenty to twenty one, I mean, you should start learning. You should have been, but that is your learning responsibilities to pay. If you're not on time, then. Put a fucking eviction notice on your door. Yeah, because I was I didn't know what it was like to struggle until I moved on my own. My mom was my mom was a single mother, but she's a hairstylist. She stayed make like get yeah. she even really it just starts slowing up when I got older. But um, if she would have not like my mom did an amazing job raising us, but I'm just saying like if she would have instilled like a little bit of more like responsibility, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I would have been a little bit more prepared. But I was kind of I was kind of spoiled. Like I worked, but all my money was for me. I, I seen the thing online. Um, this lady with her kids, she was like doing like financial responsibilities and giving them like how much they make a month, mm-hmm. and then she would break down like bills and yeah. stuff for them. And they was like, "Wait, my car? Like my well, if you if you want to buy this car, then this is how much it costs a month, and this goes from your money." And the girl was like, "Wait, you mean to tell me I got to pay seven hundred dollars for um a no in in in, in, in insurance? insurance? Yeah, you know what I mean." It's she real she life. was like, "She was like, yeah." She like, "So I only got four hundred dollars left. How I'm gonna survive off that?" You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah like even with taxes. I mean, not taxes. Um, um, credit and all that. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, I I yeah. say pay the five. Pay the five, I agree. bro. Pay the mm-hmm. five. Yeah, five hundred and sixteen. Shit. My mom handed me that direct TV bill. Yo, you like cable, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Gonna pay that, bro. Because if I turn this off, you gonna be the main one you complaining. You gonna be the main one. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Opie, they ain't give mm-hmm. fuck about on TV. They tired. Right. right. That's just like us. We'll get off work right now and go to sleep. I would. I, I, mean, listen, I be TV? watching Hulu on my phone while I'm at work. By the time I get home, it's time to go you to bed. Yeah, it's bedtime. I play a couple plays. What you doing at 8 o'clock? Um, I'll get in bed. <laughs> Oh, oh yo, we going out at nine o'clock PM. <laughs> I don't know about PM, bro. Like I thought you meant nine AM. We can yo, hang out. Listen, I'm telling supposed you. to go hang with sticks tonight. I don't, I'm about to lie to him. <laughs> oh yeah, he's celebrating to sell it. Yeah, he can't dude. celebrate no more. Uh-huh. <laughs> shout out, shout out to bro. Happy birthday, happy birthday, bro. Yeah, happy, yeah. happy birthday, bro. But you know, you got you got event. Something. What's what's the date of the event? Eleven. Th- t- Two, four. Bad Drink place. like sticks. Yeah, let me see. Let me. I gotta go to this page now. Damn. You're let me see something. Place. I am. I don't even know the date. I mean, I'm you just the posted. The right just posted down. Story. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the date right now. It is. He got a. Uh, there's no place like happy hour. Uh, eleven two twenty three six p.m. The Emerald Room, four six one North Third Street. The Emerald uh, Room is really cool, y'all. Yeah. Um. It's happy and hour. I think tickets are only ten ten dollars. Drink like sticks. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Tickets ain't. Go go get go go support bro drink like sticks movement. Um we should be there. <laughs> we should be there, but you know I got work. I'm I got I'll probably so many bills, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> second, what, what date? That's the second. I know what day is it? Thursday Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thursday. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I'm off Friday and Saturday. You might see me and drink like sticks with everyone. <laughs> Come buy oh, me a drink. I drink whiskey. It's a real, 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 real classy event, real good people. Come on now, have some fun. For the old for the older for the older yeah. older for the older crew. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't for the no. It probably won't be no. It ain't gonna be no young people there. It'll be for the older. Usually we bring out the uh, the old job turkey. Y'all ain't ladies. that damn old. No, I'm Same. telling you, we ain't that old. But yeah, fellas, come on out, man. It's open enrollment. Come get you a lady with some insurance. <laughs> open enrollment time it's, November, it's, baby. It's, co- it's cold, brothers. You might unlock a house. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying you, you, you 21 <laughs> with 10k in your bank account. You can. You might. You can slide <laughs> in somebody's crib if you want. You ain't trying to. You try to listen to pops. <laughs> Only thing about old women, they might ask you to get the kitchen redone. So yeah. <laughs> why, y'all got, why y'all be having like serious adult ass problems? Though? Um, I'm old 31, women. so I don't know who is y'all. <laughs> He you looks great. Yo, you're auntie. You're auntie. I'm like, I just got there though. I'm like, so new. you got real problem. You got a bricks and shit. Young, young For sure. Yeah, bricks, yeah. bricks and rotors. Hell yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I got other shit. I got a little transition. Uh, <laughs> See, there a you little go. transition mount. I need Jeep on strike right now. You know somebody call me. Yeah, I got. I got real life shit going on. Yeah, For you gotta real. get the motor mounts and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's the what ball, it is. The ball motor joints. Yeah, motor mounts. Yeah. Yeah. Young chick only got four dollars for who could get? And you wanna know what's so crazy? The mount is just like a little bushel right there. Like they just take it off and put like a little a little piece in the middle. So like rock. Why can't y'all just go find that somewhere? I don't understand. Why? I it's the labor. But auntie got real problems. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Don't call Sumi or sign a DM unless you, you know. Unless you want to pay for an engine mount. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> unless you know how to do it yourself. I love it. I love a handy nigga. She love a handy nigga. I ain't going to lie. I love it. I mean, I'm a sucker for a handy nigga. You well, I'll hook you up with a nigga you put transmissions and engines in. Listen, <laughs> come put, put my bed frame together. I've been, yeah, I need all that. You got there you go. See the, see the auntie problems, fellas? <laughs> That's easy. That's easy shit. Come put some Ikea shit together. 
Yeah, you know the, but you, you got you got right. all, you got all the shit already. You might be right. Had a chili on the stove. Exactly. <laughs> Bring a bottle of wine with you. Bring a bottle of wine. And chill. You're good. Listen, you're in the house. You unlocked it. Come on you over, bro. You Listen, that's how you man? get them, yo. What you need to put together in y'all? I got on some real shit. Mm-hmm. Bring you your order. drill, fella. <laughs> you, when you go over, you see what she need. You just order. You Amazon it to the crib. Yeah, that's just it. just walk in with it in hand. Yeah. Come with the gun already. Yo, I get it. You already the got the Phillips screw already in there. Now, now it's probably going out with his uniform on. Oh my. <laughs> Still toe boots. Oh, man. Compo- composite toe. They better. <laughs> Still toe too cold in the wintertime. Composite. Composite oh, toe shit. boots. Man, that's better. all nigga want. Mm-hmm. Make him a plate. You know what I'm saying? He'll come fix everything in there. Start I hanging pictures. A, I love to make a plate. Pl- and and I love to cook for people, too. It's more of the. It's more about me. I do. You know, I like to see. Damn, all right. You got a crazy good. DM lately? You used to always have like crazy dates and DMs. I on Twitter, always like. have crazy DMs. Oh, you? Oh no, you? I can tell you this motherfucking DM. That That's just, our new segment. We are gonna have the <laughs> crazy DMs. DMs. Sumi's DMs. But the thing is, the niggas might you might scare the niggas away. <laughs> <laughs> no, because niggas gonna come in there like, yo, I ain't like that. I like the left foot versus the yo, right. No, foot. No, what's crazy? <laughs> people are so in denial. They'll be like, uh, I would never do no shit like this. Yeah, you annoy me in other ways. Mm-hmm. Like yo, they don't even realize. I seen, I seen a clever John. A chick posted. The nigga put in a DM like, at such and such has mentioned you in the story. She went to the DM like, oh, I thought you mentioned me. He was like, now that I got your attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's clever. I love a little swift oh, that, nigga. Oh, I'm like, oh, bro, that was that was quick on your feet right there. He was like, she was like, you know what? You was Since, since you got me like that, you got me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, now I'm here. Wait, so, What's all right. DM? All right. Um, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so he said finance to me my crush mind you after a certain age you just shouldn't just be saying crush no more i need you to grow up and i really you can't have a crush at a certain age fuck no oh shit okay. or okay fine but don't let me know that you shouldn't be telling me that yeah i ain't gonna tell you my crush yeah crush. after what eight? i feel like after 38 all right can i say i had a crush on you at like no leave that word alone all right, go ahead, my bad go ahead <laughs> he's so I, I so i see it i double tap it he says, so scared of you. All caps. I said, wait, huh? Because now I'm thinking it's a joke, right? Man he man said, man. laughing my ass up. I don't know why I'm scared of you, though. I said, me either, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote back, LOL. What are we talking about? You got to like, start scaring niggas back. Like, yo, you know I rob niggas, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, y'all, y'all don't scare niggas back. But I get this a lot. Like, the, the nervousness, the scaredness. It's like, bro, I'm a regular. Like, I don't You even... are, but it's probably because you up front. Like, you don't. You know, yeah. Like, I was yeah. But you should like that even more. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But the scare. Yeah, that was. I, honestly, we could do. I got some shit. I got don't some worry, shit. Don't worry. Once this. a week. Here you go. Yeah. Crazy tune, DM. in, tune in for Sumi DMs. Sumi DMs. Yeah, we got, we got a new segment now. Sumi DMs. Yeah, was, uh, oh, gosh. Don't be scary. Don't tell. Don't tell. I get it. We, we want you to be vulnerable, but that's uh-huh. too that's too much. Uh-huh. Old something uh-huh. back. What they say? Bring back bring back pride. Bring back ego. Pride and ego. Pride and, ego. And, shame. and shame. And shame. Shame has to come back. Uh-huh. Why uh-huh. you want to tell the bitch you scared of her? That's crazy. Yeah, that, that's wild. I ain't never telling the chick. What I'm supposed to do with that? How am I, How do I respond? Well, let me make you unscared. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh no. Scared for what? Yeah, the, I don't um, know. So, you know how we usually leave. Uh, We're going to wrap it up. Um, Got any tips of the week? Then you got a tip. Then sure. always got the good tips. Dude, it's open enrollment, fellas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Find you a nice lady with a job. You know what I'm saying? Get on her insurance. Go get your physical and everything. You know you niggas don't be getting going to the doctor and shit. So. You can't be... you. You don't have to be married? It can be your living partner. Oh, okay. Huh. Your domestic partner. You know niggas got ways around shit like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. I did, ha- I did have another. To- I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the other topic. Don't worry about it. But I'll give you another one. It says, when your nigga in grind mode, either join him or shut the fuck up. I like that one. I actually do like that one. And I, vice versa, for sure. Mm, I like that. Because it's um, like, I seen some. It was like, if you not, not saying that you need to take care of me, but it's like, bro, I got shit going on too. I think sometimes niggas just be like, I'm the grinder and like bitch, I grind too. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um, what niggas would be lose sight in that. Yeah, what would be my tip? I, I, I don't know. I'm in my just like to find happiness. Okay. Do what works for you. That's just where I am right now. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what it is, how bad it might be, how scandalous it might be. <laughs> love here, love, love, love a good scandal. Love a good scandal. <laughs> love a good scandal. I'll be tuned the fuck Ooh, in. I love a good scandal. She I did think what? <laughs> Mine is uh, when you hit 30, time is not running out. Oh, that's a good one. You that's a good time. one. 
Because somebody look, just said to me, why you don't want no kids? Why you ain't no kids yet? I'm like, well, I'm 31. You know, time ain't running out yeah. of 30. Like, when you get 30, like, your time just don't, like, your clock just don't stop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's you yeah, got plenty you, I, of time. I, I Even think, if you restart net 30 or 33 or 30, bro, you could restart, re- just keep doing, keep do going over to you, you get a Do you out. think that you found yourself a little bit more when you turned thirty? Not found yourself, but like, okay, this is no. who I am. Nope. No, nope. well, they say they say it take men a little bit longer, right? Uh, I think I found. I think I found a little bit, or like I'm getting uh, to a flow of what I okay. really kind of want to do. I didn't find myself though. Like I, I was, I was still figuring it out. Okay, you know, what okay. I, mean? I was still figuring out. Like I had like a path I wanted to take. And then I just needed another, you know, a few chips to fall in place. And I was like, all right, this is where I'm going. Okay. You know what I mean? So that, I didn't really like get into place to where I want and what I'm doing mentally, probably until I was thir- my 31st yeah. birthday. Okay. Like around that well, time. Well, yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Like, 30, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was living the whole, like, I had a son and everything. So, like, my son, you live in a whole different way than I had a daughter. And it's like, yo, you just, emotions came out of nowhere. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I didn't turn into this emotional ass nigga out yeah, of nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. shit, I feel shit. Daughter softened right, you up. Right. Yeah, like, they yeah. really softened you up. That's so, so like, crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, so, wait to, wait it's like emotional. A it's like emotional in there. We're like, still, Listen. it's that, it's I'm Brent. T- yeah. It's yeah. future and, future and Drake. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Go. When she become a teenager, didn't call me, bro. When she, when she become that teenager, my daughter, it, yeah, so it's like you really, you really pray. see like life I, different. And Jay, I pray. I, y'all watch the Jay Z uh, Girl King? Yeah, I watched. Clips I watched clips of it. Yeah, so like he talk about how like blue when blue came, like his life just changed. Mm-hmm. Like you, you really start to see it as mm-hmm. shit go on. So yeah, like my, different, but you know, my daughter burning me up. <laughs> I know For I burned my mom. I was a horrible teenager. So um, yeah, this Nas I'm clocking out. So me clocking out. Yo yo, this Lynn I'm clocking out. Stucks. 